Hi, I'm um, not entirely sure what this looks like. It's my first go at doing a uh, sort of online help tutorial. I hope this is useful. I've spent a couple of days trying to work out how to make what is basically an Amazon seven pin carling switch operate a winch, so a four by four winch or an ATV winch. There's quite a lot of information on the internet. Um, this is the best piece that I found, but it doesn't really totally help you if you're um, new to wiring or you've not come up with this thing before. So basically, if you want to wire a winch switch or a similar seven pin carling rocker switch like you get off eBay, have the lights work and make it wind a winch in and out like this. The wiring is very simple. First thing you need to do is work out with a multimeter. So put the red probe from your multimeter onto the 12 volt in on both solenoids. So you start with one and work your way through. So this is an earth. So the easiest thing to do is connect your multimeter to the negative of the battery. Obviously after following the instructions for wiring up your winch. So black pin from your multimeter onto the battery, put it onto one of your solenoids and operate the solenoid with your standard winch switch that comes with the winch so you know it works. Should you then see battery voltage here, probably is going to be around right, between 10 and a half and 12 volts depending how flat your battery is. When you operate in and out, so you try them both, you can then mark them on which one's the in and which one's the out. From there it's quite simple, you, you just need to wire up your carling switch. So the top pin, which is pin seven, that goes to ground. So when you're doing this to the, your car, you could simply earth it to the body. You don't need to send it all the way back to the battery. I did, so I knew I've got a clean connection on this rig. The top rows here, which is pins one and four, says winch in, and you need to connect those to the corresponding solenoid. I found when I wired mine up, the way that winch in is marked on here and how it worked was reversed, but it's quite simple to sweep it afterwards. The two center pins are positive, direct from the battery. It's worth fusing those. So a direct connection to the battery, bridge them together, and that's your positive in, and then your winch out is your bottom two, three and six. So basically you just make up one wire with a bridge, another wire with a bridge, and another wire with a bridge, and you connect them to the corresponding 12V on your solenoids. Then your switch will work, and your lights will work, and you don't need to use your switch for your winch if you don't need to, but if you did, you can have it as a backup. You're not gonna do any harm if you have this plugged in and this plugged in, and in my case, a wireless remote as well. Hope this is useful. Um, this is probably gonna be my last tutorial, unless, uh, Something else confuses me and I think it would be helpful to everybody else. Take care.